Hi, this is the final presentation of the project of Big Data Analytics. The topic of our project is September Customer Satisfaction. The team members of our group are Jun Yichun, Jie Yaoqing, and Feng Xiluo. And this is the contents of our presentation. And the reason why we choose this topic is that for our business, Customer satisfaction is a key measure of success. And predict customer satisfaction early allows business owners to take actions to improve a customer's happiness. And our objective is to analyze the data set provided by Satander and predict if a customer is satisfied or not and help Satander to identify dissatisfied customer early in their relationship. We mainly use Python and R along with various machine learning packages and other different data analytic tools in the progress. The first part of the project is data preprocessing and feature extraction. Our training dataset contains 76,000 samples and test dataset contains 75,000 samples and each sample contains 370 anonymized features. And we provide target equals 1 for unsatisfied customers and 0 for satisfied customers. So our task is to predict the probability that each customer in the test set is an unsatisfied customer. We discovered that the dataset contains categorized data and continuous data and variables with zero variance or no predictive value and fake values. So data preprocessing and feature extraction becomes a big part of this project. For data preprocessing, we drop sparse and duplicate features, normalize the data and identify fake values. Since the features are anonymized, so we use XGBoost algorithm to analyze the feature importance. And then we use different methods to add features, like sum of zero features, likelihood features, and we use TSNE and PCA to reduce the dimensionality from 370 to 2. And we also use k-means to cluster the data and took number of clusters assigned to each example as a feature. And we use from 2 up to 10 clusters. In the third section, I'll talk about classification and how to prevent overfitting. In the previous stage, different classifiers were compared. Random forest performed the best. However, the results were not satisfying. The mediocre performance was due to overfitting because only 4% of the training data are positive. However, much more testing data are positive. In the solution, different models were trained using five different combos of classifiers and features. Each training iterated 20 times. The predictions for the testing data were made by all models. Results from all different models were combined in a way that optimizes the AUC. In the final algorithm, after data pre-processing and feature extraction, different models were trained using RGF, AdaBooster, and XGBoost. Then all the models were combined in a way to optimize the AUC. The combined model were used to classify the probability a customer is unsatisfied. This slide explains the algorithms to combine different results from different models to optimize AUC. If you are interested, I will explain it later. The final result was submitted to Kaggle and got a score of around 0.84, which is a great improvement from previous result and not far away from the best contenders. So this is the visualization part of our project. Basically, we are using the Amazon Scalable Storage Service to deploy our website. And this is the link to our page. You can just click in here and you jump to the web page. And 
This graph is a two-dimensional visualization of TSNE features of 20 randomly chosen customers. And uh, the red spots represent satisfied customers, and the blue ones represent unsatisfied ones. Now suppose I am a stop from Santander Bank, and I want to see more details of an unsatisfied customer. I can just move my mouse over the spots and see the ID, like this one is 65815. Just type it in here and search. We got the result. And uh, we can see that there are 10 most important features of this customer and the target value and some statistics of the satisfied customers like the max, mean, and standard deviation values for each of the features. Now we can see that the target value is 1, which means this one is extremely unsatisfied. And we can see that the feature 370 is much smaller than the mean value of satisfied customers, which means maybe we can take some actions to try to increase this value in the future so that um, this one will be more satisfied. And the same rules applies to satisfied customers, like um, this one is 74341. Just type it in here and search. Got it. And uh, we can see that the target value is 0 0.34, which is relatively smaller than the previous one, which means this one is satisfied and uh, we can also see that the value of feature 184 is uh, much smaller than the mean value so maybe we can do something to try to improve this um, services and increase the value in the future so that this one will be even more satisfied and that's all thank you To sum up, in this project, different algorithms were applied to tackle the Santander customer satisfaction challenge. We studied and performed data pre-processing, feature extraction from sparse and problematic raw data. We studied and compared performance of different classification algorithms. The ensemble classification algorithm performed better than the others. Implemented an algorithm to combine different classification models for the overfitting problem. Implemented an algorithm to optimize the AUC. Visualized the results. Predict predicted the probability of customer unsatisfaction. Gained high score in the challenge. We really appreciate this great opportunity. It is the best way to learn how to tackle practical big data problems. These are the factors that contribute to the novelty of this project. Thank you. Any questions?